All right, let's make a cover letter using ChatGPT. Now, ChatGPT is really taking over the internet this week. Um, it is a tool released by OpenAI, and it allows you to do incredible things like um, create all kinds of documents, essays, stories, code. Um, you can ask it questions. You can have it generate ideas. I mean, everybody's experimenting with it. And for me, I'm really interested in how um, G Chat GPT can help job seekers. Um, right now, I own the company Boring AI. It's a training company for non-technical um, managers and leaders. But before this role, I was actually an Ivy League career coach. So I helped hundreds, if not thousands of people with their career strategy, including um, creating their cover letters and resumes, which means I have seen thousands of them. And let me tell you, I know that Cover letters and resumes are nobody's favorite. So looking at ChatGPT and trying to find a way to um, make it easier for cover, um, job seekers to write cover letters and resumes is really of interest to me. And, you know, I think I solved it. So here's what we're going to do. First, we're going to start with the job. Um, I picked a job just from Indeed. Indeed, you can see this job here is Global Program Manager. It's Uber. Um, this is, you know, this is kind of like a mid-career job right here, but you can see they want seven years experience. You can see kind of like some of their requirements and what you'll be doing and then the requirements preferred qualifications down here you're going to want to use this we'll come back to why that's relevant um but right now you just need the url so we're going to put in here write a cover letter for this job and include why i want to work at uber now here's the thing with cover letters companies want to feel special right they're special snowflakes you're only considering them and so we are playing a bit of a game every time we write a cover letter right we're trying to personalize it and make it seem like you know we're super interested in this company and that they should pick us and the way you do that is by you know calling out the company and talking about what you like about it um and then you show what you've done in the cover letter um, that relates to the job you're applying to. So you always want to use an example from your current experience or a, a former job to show um, you know, results and the impact that you made to show that you can do the job um, that you're applying for. So let's see what we got here. All right, so we're getting the shape of a cover letter. Um, Chat GPT is a bit slow this morning, but you can see it's typing it out. And this is really um, a pretty generic cover letter. Now, if you were to say, hey, like I want to use this cover letter. Yeah, it. this is a a basic cover letter. And we did this in less than five minutes here, right? I would say this is like two minutes, maybe tops. But here's the thing, we can make it better. And I'll show you how. The thing about um, that I really like about ChatGPT and that a lot of people like is you can talk to it, right? We can make improvements on this. Of course, you could take a copy of this, put it into a Google Doc and edit it, right? You could, you're, you're free to do that. But let's see what we can do actually in this cover letter. So let's say um, you can see here you're, you're excited to apply, as is everyone. Now, let's say you're not a project manager because... Um, and they are, you know, in this case, you're not looking for necessarily a project manager. It is a project manager job. You'll be doing project management. This is really focused on online learning, right? Lead the strategy for usage of online self-paced learning algorithms. You can see, um, you know, they're going to work across teams. So you really want to give, um, you really want to be able to read this job description and pick out pieces uh, of the job description that you want to focus on and put that back into chat GT, BT3. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to copy this seven years of D &D experience so they know. Um, and we're going to pretend that we had prior experience at Lyft. You can do this with any company, right? I tried this with like um, retail associate at Target, right? You can pick any type of prior experience and bring it into um, the cover letter. And here's how. Um, update the cover letter with my seven years of L&D experience with four years at Lyft. Let's say you did four years at Lyft. Let's see, and you were where you were leading the strategy. Okay, so let's say, because that's pretty badass, right? So you four years at Lyft, leading where I led the strategy for, and then include, we're going to include results because everyone, wants to see results, right? You had results in that job, most likely you're gonna be applying to a new job, right? And I find with job seekers, it's really hard to talk about results. And so what you're gonna see here is it's going to frame the results in a way that's gonna make it easy for you to think about your results. So include results. So let's see where that gets you. Um, um, also include, I want to work at Uber because of its innovate, fast paced, innovation and market 
And you can see here what I'm doing is I'm really flushing out this cover letter. I'm saying, okay, I want you to edit this and I want you to, um, you know, uh, the, you can see here, like they made up, like, this is why I want to work at Uber, Uber. And it's actually a great reason to work at Uber, right? Um, but I want it a little more customized. So we're going to see what comes up. And we're typing it out. Oh, and it's not program manager position. We're going to have to, oh, is it? It is a program manager. My, it's right there. <laughs> thinking project manager. Okay, so now I've got um, seven years of experience in learning and development. Um, you're confident in the ability to thrive. Last four years at Lyft. Now we're talking about your strategy. Um, during my time, I increased engagement with our online learning offerings by 50% and drove a 20% in course completion rates. Whew, look at that. Now, maybe you didn't do that, right? Let's say that you didn't do that. All you got to do is edit this. But you can see here, let's say maybe you did. Maybe you didn't know how to talk about your results. And now you can think about your old job and say, hey, how much did I increase engagement? Maybe you can, maybe it was only by, you know, let's say, well, let's, let's say you did a great job. You increased online learning by 75%. Let's say update results for online learning offerings to 75%. And let's see what it does. Now, again, you could copy and paste this in a Google Work doc and it would probably be a, a little bit faster, but you can just see how, how you can interact here with the bot and have it rewrite your cover letter for you. And what we've got here um, is really a solid cover letter, right? It's talking about the skills that you have. Um, I'm going to go back to the job description as this um, updates. You can see we've updated to 75%. And I'm going to find some other things that it's looking for, right? I saw in here, um, we have degree in LinkedIn learning. I'm going to put that in my skills. Is there anything else? We're looking at the skills down here, designing and leading development programs, live and virtual. So I'm going to actually have it update with that in my skills section. Skills like... And, and what's my other one? And we want experience with, let's see, where did it go? I saw it, here it is, degreed in LinkedIn learning, right? And so maybe you don't know where to put this in here. I personally would put it in here, but, or sorry, in here, but I'm also a career coach, so I know where it goes. But like, you know, um, revised skills section to include skills. Like, okay. And we're going to try it again. Let's see what we get. Overall, this is a great cover letter, right? You could also make it more concise. Um, you could tell the bot to make it more concise. Maybe we'll do that after, after this one here. Okay. Confident in my ability to thrive in this role and make valuable conversation. Again, this is kind of that corporate speak, right? <laughs> this is a more, very formal way of I can do this job, um, but it works, right? This is how they expect you um, to, to write. And that's the thing. This program is trained off of existing content, right? It has scoured um, huge websites to learn how people write. And, in, and part of that is how do we write cover letters, right? This is the shape of a cover letter. Okay, so what did we come up with this time? So move some things around. I have a track record of success in designing and leading development programs, both live and virtual using pro platforms. Great. This isn't the job description. This is great. Oh, I see now it's dropped the, the, the engagement and completion rates. Okay. Reason why you want to work. Okay. So this went a little bit different than what I thought. And this is actually um, part of uh, you know, working with GPT-3, or excuse me, yeah, GPT-3 and chat um, GPT, like, you don't always know what you're going to get. I actually like that, that previous paragraph with the numbers better than I like this. But again, you could play with that. You could um, copy and paste that and have just a really solid um, cover letter. So I'm going to say revise cover letter to make more concise, keep results from uh, from engagement and completion rates. Let's see what happens. Now, this is kind of mimics the back and forth you might have with a career coach who's really invested in your um, 
cover letter, right? There's different kinds of career coaches. Some will just write you a cover letter and give it to you and deliver it. Other times they'll go back and forth. Um, I know in coaching sessions, I worked with, you know, um, clients to be able to draw out the things that they were most proud of, their results, what they accomplished in order to include that in, um, in their, um, in the cover letter. So this is kind of what you're doing here. And kind of like working with a cover, you know, career coach, you don't always know what you're going to get. And I think this is really also interesting for career coaches. This could actually speed up the process, right? Most career coaches have a template that they're going to work off of. Um, you know, they're plugging in what you say as a client into their template. And they're not always writing it from scratch. Now I could write, I've done so many of these, I could write it from scratch, but I'm still not going to be able to do it as quick as ChatGPT. So what do we have here? Okay, excited to apply for the program manager, Uber, skilled program project manager. Again, I would change this to L&D uh, professional, but it still works. Um, track record is success. Okay. Look, all right. So this is a shorter version. And also I'm of the opinion shorter is better. Some people like longer. Um, this is a decent cover letter, right? It's personalized. It tells why you want to work for the company. It shows what you've accomplished. And I think it's a great um, little piece of your story uh, that you can share with employers. Now, cover letter is all about style. So you can adapt this however you'd like, but you can see in, let's see, I've done one, two, three, four, five, five prompts to get us to this cover letter. And honestly, you could have really gone probably with like the second, the, like the second prompt here, I think is actually a really good one. So again, those are your options. Um, pick a job find any job, put it in the prompt here, write a cover letter and just start telling it what you'd like to add. It helps to have, um, you know, you're going to want to um, read the job description, make sure that you understand what it's asking for. You're going to pick things out of it that you want to highlight in the a cover letter. Don't pick everything. And you're going to want to know what in your background is relevant to this job that you can um, bring out in the cover letter. That's Those are the two key components that you know, chat and GPT can't do for you. So you want to make sure you have those. But yeah, that's how to write a cover letter.